So as I promised before in my other tutorial where I showed you how to optimize Windows 10 in this high priority in Task Manager, because every time you restart the program, it will go again to normal priority. So this is without downloading any third parties program or everything. This is all inside the Windows with registry editor. So let's get started and see how you can make it permanent. And of course you can delete it if you want. So you go back to the normal mode. So let's get started. So the first thing that we have to do is to go to start and we're going to type here, reg edit like this. And now you can click here on run as administrator or you can right click and run as administrator is the same thing, but make sure you run it as, as administrator. So when we're in this registry editor, carefully follow all the steps, do not skip anything and it should be good. So the first thing that we have to do is to go to this edge key local machines and then we click on this arrow, this here, and then we go to software and we click again on this arrow. And then the next thing that we have to do is to go to Microsoft. So we search for Microsoft and it should be here. There it is Microsoft. And we click on this again on this arrow. And then now the next thing that we need to do is to go to windows NT. So it should be down all the way down windows NT. It should, and there we go. Here it is. And we click on this again, go to current version, click on this again. And here, you have to find image file execution. So we're going to click on this and make it a little bit to see everything. And we're going to go and search for image file execution options. And we click again on this arrow here. And now here we see a bunch of programs. Now the program will not be listed here. So we need to create the program execution file. So now here it is some programs that I will show you. This is just an example. Just can, this can be any game, any program in your windows. So if I want Google Chrome to be on high priority, now, how do you know the execution file for particular program? For example, now Google Chrome, we go right click on start task manager. And here we will find, if you go to details here, you will see chrome.exe is the comment. So how you, if you don't see here in test manager, go on Chrome or go on the program that you want to put a high priority or the properties. And here, if you go to open file location, you will again see here the same chrome.exe. So we copy it like this and we can close this now. And now I will show you the, how you can put it here on registry editor. So I'm going to put it right here so you can see everything. And now from here, we go on this image file execution options. We go right click on it and go to new key. And then here we put the execution command, which is here. This one, we need to put this one. So we put here, right click and paste it, or you can type it. And uh, let's just show you for this. Let's just show you set priority as you can see it's on normal so now we have this chrome.exe and now we right click on this one that we just created and go to new and again click on key and here is very important to type this to make a subfolder on it so perf perf options like this make sure you type it with capitals letters like this make sure and this one is if it's capital letters, make sure, as you can see here, make sure it's with capital letter, letters like here. As you can see, this is make sure the, it's just like this. And this is the same as this one. So now on perf options, we click once on it. And now we click on this blank window here. Don't touch this default, this setting. Right click, new. And then we go to this div or 32 bit value. Click on it. And now here we need to type CPU priority class. Make sure you don't misspell it. Make sure you type it exactly as this. And then we double click on it. And here I make sure on this base hexadecimal is selected, not this decimal hexadecimal. And this value data we need to change based on which priority we want. 
So here are the comments for the hex priority, which is, as you can see, high is three, above normal is six, normal is two, below normal is five, and low is one. So I'm going to do for the high priority, so I'm just going to type in three like this and click OK. And now if I go on Chrome and check it, which priority is it? it is, as you can see, it's still on normal, as you can see here. So you go and close and just restart again and reopen your chosen program. As you, as you opened again the program, then we go again to the chrome.exe and set priority. And as you can see, now it's on high. If for some reason it doesn't go on high, even after you do this, maybe you, you typed something wrong here on these comments here or the Chrome or that the exit, this is misspelled or something is not all right. Or maybe you need to restart your PC, but see for yourself and see how you can fix it. Make sure to follow all the tips here, all the steps. And now if you want to revert this, for example, you don't want it to be anymore on high priority. What you can do is just go and right click on this process right here and click on delete. And do you want to permanently delete this key? Just go yes. And now you are back to the default. So now if I close again the Chrome and relaunch it. So now I relaunch the Chrome and go to Chrome.exe. As you can see now it's again back to normal as it was before. And that's pretty much it how you can do it. You can basically do this for all the programs, for example, for Formark or this. So you just open it. And now if you go here on task manager, you will see your, you will see here the Formark process. Here it is Formark.exe. If for some reason you cannot find it, you can go to your shortcut here, right click on it, properties open file location and then you will see here fullmark.exe which you can use and make it on a high priority. Thank you so much for watching. I will make a separate video how this affects the FPS and how much it affects. If you want to see that video, don't forget to comment below and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this kind of content and see you in the next video. Bye.